All right, so you can see here that I've uh, made just a few uh, additions here. What I've done is I've gone through and I've been kind of just tweaking. I added a vertical fin. I added kind of the placeholders for the wheels. All of this stuff is uh, is just throwaway stuff. All of this is just going to get deleted when we're done. But it, what I've done is is uh, I've used it with my background images, and uh, it took me about uh, three different exports of it into uh, into X plane, and then and I also added a, a front view here. Um, just to get things kind of lined up and now that everything's lined up and another thing that I, I had forgotten um, when I originally made my box I went to the tip of the spinner and that's why my, my image didn't line up um, because the shape the, the dimensions I was going off of didn't count the spinner that it stopped right here and so once I did that um, all my images lined up as the uh, as they should. Um, so then I did a bunch of tweaking and uh, exported it a couple times into Plane Maker and uh, checked where it needed to be and all that. So here in Plane Maker is the final result of the two of the of the Plane Maker's model and my model kind of overlaid on top of each other. And uh, as you can see, everything is is quite close. And so from here. What we're going to do is uh, now we're going to be spending all of our time um, in Blender modeling. And we're going to model um, all these individual pieces and, uh, and any small discrepancies that we have later on, we will correct on the Plane Maker model um, later. And the reason I do that it may not be the, the best way to do it, but the reason I do it that way is because I feel I have better control um, over accuracy and dimensions in Blender. And so I make sure everything I do in Blender um, has the correct dimensions. And then, uh, and then once I have my final uh, 3D object made from Blender, I use that to um, resituate and rescale my Plane Maker model. So that uh, is kind of the overlay. And so later on, um, we won't need to do it now, but later on to, to make it so that you're, only your 3D model shows is you go up to Expert and you go to Invisible Parts and you would, and so this here is to hide. So if we click that, now the, the fuselage that Plane Maker made disappears. And, uh, and so, all the really highly detailed aircraft that you see in X-Plane, they are just 3D models. They've, they've gone through here and uh, left wing, right wing. They've, they've made all of that stuff, just it's just hidden. X-Plane still needs it to calculate all of the uh, flight model information. But they go in here, you hide all of that, um, and that, uh, and so then you can have your highly detailed 3D model from from Blender, but you still have the flight characteristics that you made um, while doing that here in Plane Maker. Um, and so that's where we're going to be at for now. I'm not going to do any any more uh, in this video. I just wanted to show that that's where you end up. Um, you do your, go ahead and tweak, you know, throw in whatever little pieces you need so that you get a good feel. Uh, let me show you a wireframe here. You know, get a good feel of where everything's positioned. You don't have to be super accurate, but you want, you want your dimensions. So here's the end of us and, and you want all of that. You want your wings, get all that close so that, uh, so that it's close in plane maker. And so from this point on, we are going to, um, we'll actually take all of this, which I'm just going to hit A to select all and then M and I'm going to move it down to that layer that I had uh, my dimensions box on. 
we'll do that. We're back here on, on layer one. So now with our background drawings in the correct location, we can now begin modeling our, uh, our aircraft. And uh, that's where we're going to leave it at, and we'll continue on in the next video.